I became a Catholic in 2007, but I had already been, you know, doing music for quite a few years by then. Um, so for me, I, I, I sort of see it looking back and see how I was, I sort of stumbled into this. But at the time, on it, frankly, I just didn't, I didn't have a handle on what discernment was. So it really was me just following what felt the most authentic to me. Um, and I would say that as I've continued to make music for the church, uh, it's been because I love the church. And I, so, so, so even though I can't say I discern my way into this job, um, I, I continue to discern as I go. And, uh, and I, lo I love the church, so I keep writing music for her. I really believe in trying to reflect the church as she truly is um, in her antiquity and in her modernity. So I think it's really beautiful when we can find ways to truly blend the different traditions of music that the church has espoused over the centuries with what is happening today in, in, in hymns and I, it's like the hymns of today in my opinion and so and because the church has such a rich tradition of like um, like Taizé and meditation like really repetitive meditative songs today's praise and worship music often falls into that category really well so I think when there's discernment and prayer involved and great love uh, you can really make all those things work together are really open-minded when especially because I'm doing praise and worship music that is a very uh, disarming thing for people who might not have really traditionally known that Catholics sing praise and worship or you know have charismatic uh, leanings even um, so for me it's been like the music leads the way to relationship so I've made relationships with all different kinds of Christians in the business, but the music has been the bridge. I often hear that what I do is very soothing and calming. So I get a lot of emails that are like, I used your music to give birth to my baby. I get that email all the time, uh, which I think is beautiful because I've had a baby and I know how sacred that moment is. Um, and a lot of people saying, you know, my kids go to sleep to your music, I go to sleep to your music. So I, I like to think that uh, the particular sort of small C charism I've been given is to provide and facilitate peace and calm for people um, in the midst of anxiety. So that seems to be what happens naturally, so I'm really trying to lean into that. Well, I honestly have found over the years that I have a really, I have a really difficult time identifying my emotions in, in real life in day-to-day -day life. I'm a very even keel person to the point of getting angry or upset and not being able to even get in touch with that. And so what happens is it sort of varies and resentment can grow in my heart. I'm really susceptible to that because I'm so not in touch with my feelings. But with music, I find that I'm able to go into the places of the heart that are the most broken. And so because of that, I feel completely myself and I start to experience illumination and healing in music that I don't really, I have a hard time accessing sitting at home, praying on my knees without music. So for me, it's, it's truly a place of encounter and a place of experiencing healing in a way that almost nothing else really is for me. I have a two year old, or two and a half year old now, so I've slowed down a little bit already, um, at least for now. So I'm going to be focused in the next few years on staying home and making more music and not traveling so much because it's just really hard on my heart to be away from him so much um, and from my husband. And so um, my plans are to make more music in the future, but maybe travel a little less, stay home more. And then we'll see in a few years what that looks like. Well, um, I am working on a collection of songs right now about um, healing and restoration and renewal um, because I've been going through a very long season of suffering on various levels that are you know I won't get into here but 
one of the things that's coming out of that for me is the rediscovery of, of, of God's love. Honestly, uh, I went through a very dark season there where I couldn't quite uh, sense that for several years. And so I'm kind of working that out in my music right now, the dark night of the soul and then like the, the new life, you know, inside. So um, immediately at least, that's what I'm working on. Mm -hmm.